that is spicy. What's up everyone? I'm Chris. We've got Steph behind the camera and we are hungry to travel. It's another beautiful day here in Antalya and we've got an exciting day of eating ahead of us today. We're going to be starting off our Turkish food tour with breakfast at a Lock and Tassi, which is a tradesman restaurant and it's kind of like a cafeteria where you've got a bunch of different home style home cooked dishes and you can pick and choose what you want to put on your plate. So let's go see what we can fill our plates with. Come on. <laughs> so we were just about to head to our lock and tassi when we ran into that simit man and you could hear he's actually going through all the residential area around here just yelling simit to people and we actually saw a woman put a bag down on a rope and he put her simits in, she put her money in and she brought her simits up for breakfast. So we figured we had to get one from him because he was walking around with them on his head all cool like that. So we've got a simit, which is kind of like a bagel meets a pretzel. And it was four Turkish lira, which is about 40 cents Canadian or about 30 cents USD. Mmm, lovely and crispy on the outside. Nice and soft on the inside. Good little snack to get us going. Let's go! <laughs> wow, there's so many different options. We've got like helva at the top here, a bunch of different vegetarian dishes over here. Wow. Got dolma and rice, pilaf, and beans, and meat. So many options. I don't know what to fill our plate with. Got our cafeteria tray here, so let's see what we can fill our plates with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you get that? First one? Okay. So looks like we got tomatoes and something. Chickpeas? Ah, uh, yeah. Chickpeas? And dolma? Dolma? It's gonna be a good breakfast. Yogurt, yes. Mm. I bet. Do you need another tray? <laughs> no, no, no. Here is our breakfast. Woo. The Lock and Tassie experience so far has been awesome. So we got five different dishes here. So we've got some dolma here, which are wrapped in, looks like cabbage and not the usual grape leaves. So those should be tasty. We've got kind of like a beef or lamb potato stew. And over here, it looks like we've got some tomato and cheese kofta. And then we have our chickpea stew here. And the soup that we got, we weren't gonna get soup, but the lovely chef owner told us we should try the lentil soup, which is the marjamek. By the trays and the cutlery, they have little baggies of bread as well, so you can grab one to eat with your meal. Oh, mmm. That's so good. Nice and thick from the lentils. It's got so much flavor, it's not too salty. Mmm, usually like soup isn't um, what you would think for something for breakfast, but in this case, this is a perfect breakfast item. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. That's really, really good. Mm. Really strong tomato flavor, but not too, not too like sweet from the tomatoes. It's actually more savory than it is sweet. Perfect consistency, just soft enough. 
really, really tasty. Mm. I'm excited to try our sarma or dolma here, which look delicious. So you can see they are rice wrapped in most likely cabbage leaf, and we've got this really, really nice dollop of yogurt next to it. I love anything with yogurt, so I'm pretty excited for this. Oh gosh. Mm. Oh, that's so good with the yogurt. These are always so nice with yogurt because you get that really nice tangy flavor with it. You can see you've got the rice, a lot of different nice um, herbs inside of there. Mm. I can taste mint, nice strong mint flavor, and I love mint, so oh, these are really, really good. And the cabbage around them is nice and soft. I'm pretty happy here. I'll just sit here with this plate and eat this for breakfast. That's okay with me. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this one. So it looks like it's tomato with cheese on top with some sort of bell pepper. And I'm not really too sure what this thing is here. But on the very bottom of it, there is a kofta patty. Yeah, that's a potato. Oh, you can see the kofta has, you know, um, herbs in it as well. Mmm. Wow. That kofta is so flavorful, actually. Mmm. Kofta, the tomato, the potato, the cheese, the pepper, the ultimate bite. Don't think you're supposed to eat that toothpick? Super ultimate. When we first got here, it wasn't busy at all, but now it's jam-packed being closer to lunchtime, and there's a lineup out the door of people looking to get their delicious fix of this home-style, home-cooked meal at this Lock and Tassie. You can just see how busy it is and how popular this, these types of restaurants are. The last dish that we have to try is this beef stew. Okay. The meat is very nice and tender. The liquid you can almost see right through it. So it's quite nice and delicate actually. It's not too heavy or too thick. I like this. This is good. This is really good. Try it with a little onion. Mmm. Lock and Tassie's first came to being as a place where the local shopkeepers and shop owners could come for a really tasty, hearty, kind of home style cooked lunch. And now they are used by anyone and everyone and some of them are even open all hours of the day. So not only if you're a local shopkeeper or you're just anyone living or working nearby, this is the perfect place to come for lunch and even sometimes dinner. And in our case, breakfast. Everything that's sold here at the La Cantasi ranges in price from about 15 Turkish Lira to about 25 Turkish Lira. So all the five dishes that we got here today cost 99 Turkish Lira, which is about 950 Canadian or 750 USD. So not bad for a good breakfast, a filling breakfast. That was so tasty and really filling. We are stuffed. I love the kind of cafeteria style with it where you could just pick and choose whatever you wanted to eat. It was awesome. So I think now that we are pleasantly full, we are gonna go for a walk and explore and see what else we can find and just check out the city. Let's go. We're walking right along the tram line now in kind of the center of town. And it looks like maybe all year round they have people here just kind of selling handicrafts and local goods. So it's really, really cool. This bazaar is huge. It's lovely and covered over, so it makes it easy for shopping, but there's tons and tons of places it looks like, and lots of clothes, kind of textiles, locum and tea, jewelry. So it looks like you can get tons of stuff here at this bazaar. It's really, really cool.
After checking out the city and exploring through the old bazaar, we figured we had to come and sit down and have a chai and a little something sweet to tide us over through the day. We found this amazing, amazing place to sit and have our tea, which overlooks the old harbor and the mountains and the Mediterranean, and it is unbelievably beautiful here. Look at this view. We got ourselves a lemon cheesecake. Mm. That's so lemony. Oh wow. There's so much lemon flavor to it. So strong. Especially with this nice layer of kind of almost like a lemon curd on top. But then you've got the nice richness of the cheesecake. I love cheesecake and lemon so this is delicious perfect thing for an afternoon snack and this view are you kidding me like can you get any better than this this is amazing our delicious lemon cheesecake was 17 and a half turkish lira so together with the two teas it was 23 and a half turkish lira which is about 225 canadian or a dollar 75 usd which to be honest is really really good price and with this beautiful view behind us you honestly can't beat it this has got to be one of the best if not the best views in the city so if you are in Antalya you have to stop here to get a nice tea maybe a little snack and just really honestly take in this beautiful beautiful view So many different kinds of locum here that we're gonna buy a few and try them. One one. One one. These are pistachio chocolate locum. Look at all this uh, locum. Perfect, wow. perfect. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Guzel. <laughs> So we got a few Turkish delight here and the owner of the shop is so so nice He just told us to sit down and to try him in his shop and he went back into the back room to get us a coffee So let's try some of these Turkish delights. They all look so good and so interesting some of them Mmm, this one's grape. Oh Coconut With a pistachio on top Mmm, so coconutty. The owner, Ahmet, just brought us our coffee to go with our delicious locum, so perfect pairing. Oh, nice and hot. Let me try this big chocolate one. Mmm, wow. So there's like chocolate in the middle of it with kind of like the white locum tastes like a nougat. Mmm. That's really good with the pistachio on the outside as well. Got like an orange one here, orange swirl. Hmm, very orangey. With the coconut, I love the coconut ones. The fruit ones are all pretty good, but any one with coconut is definitely my favorite. All of this Turkish Delight locum costs 36 Turkish lira, which is about 350 Canadian or 275 USD. So it's pretty good for all of the locum that you get and I already ate a bunch of them. The owner has been so nice. His name is Ahmet and as soon as he brought us into his shop, you know, such good hospitality. He gave us samples of almost all of the locum that he has in the shop so we got a taste test of all of it. And we were even given some fresh oranges from Ahmet's personal orange tree in his garden. So juicy, oh my gosh. This locum experience has been amazing. If you're ever in Italia, definitely visit Ahmet at 
Kamalaga and get some locum. Say hello to the nicest locum owner ever. And yeah, he has awesome oranges as well. So after that unexpected stop off to get some locum, we're gonna head off and go to our last restaurant, which I think is super, super close actually to the locum place. So let's go. So we're here at our last stop of the day, Mersin Tantuni, where we're going to be trying Tantuni. I am starving, so I'm really looking forward to this. What Tantuni is, is like stir-fried meat with a bunch of different spices and tomato and looks, smells amazing. Oh wow. So you can see inside there, it is packed with meat as well as the fried tomatoes. It's got fresh tomatoes, fresh onions, a bunch of spices, probably sumac, coriander. It is honestly packed with flavor. And it's really, really nice and soft. You can see like the lavash bread itself is quite bendy because he fries up the lavash bread with all the meat. So it soaks up all the nice flavors and juices and grease from the meat, which is just so good. and all the nice fresh vegetables inside there too. Mm. Full of flavor, wow. This is so good. It's so nice because with the meal, you get this nice side of greenery, of veggies to go with it, as well as some lemon and these really, really probably hot pickled peppers. So I am gonna put a little bit of lemon on top here to give it a little zing, a little kick. Oh, that's nice with the lemon. If you're having anything salty in Turkey, especially in a kebab, this tantuni, you have to have a nice salty iron to go with it. Mmm. Even though it's a salty yogurt drink, it pairs so well with other salty foods because it doesn't taste as salty, but it just honestly it goes so well with it, you just have to. <laughs> Eating tantuni is serious business. It is so juicy, delicious that they actually give you it in a bag to make sure that it doesn't leak all over you, which is awesome because this would probably be, well, all over me if it weren't for that. So thank you, Mersin Tantuni, for your handy little bag. For 20 Turkish Lira, which is about $2 Canadian or $1.50 USD, you get your Et Tantuni as well as all these lovely sides. You get your lemon, your greenery to go with it, as well as your super hot spicy pickled peppers. So make sure you watch out for those. Here at Mersin Tantuni, the Tantuni is the 
bomb. And interestingly enough, Tantuni actually comes from Mersin, which is just to the east of Antalya here. So it's kind of cool that the name of the restaurant kind of pays homage to where the uh, food is from. Not only is the food amazing here, but the hospitality is wonderful as well. It's a local shop run by a family. They're so friendly and so kind and nice. We got some extra lovely teas here, which have been delicious because it's starting to get a little cool here this evening in Antalya. The restaurant itself, they have this lovely patio outdoor seating area. They're seating inside, upstairs, wherever you want. So if you're in Antalya, you definitely have to stop by Mersin Tantuni for a very traditional, authentic Tantuni. This is so good. Mm. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, everyone, that does it for our Turkish food tour today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our food adventures. And while you're at it, check out some more of our fun videos. We're hungry to travel. We'll see you next meal.